Welcome to the Solid KM University channel. This video's topic is machining cosmetic threads with thread milling. So we've seen in a previous video how the thread milling toolpath is actually developed. You choose your tool, you choose your center point of your thread, either internal or external, and based off that tool definition, it'll generate the number of threads and, and everything related to the thread. You choose it from a thread table. Now, what that actually generates is a toolpath that can be usable on the machine, but inside the simulation of the software, you're using a tool that essentially looks like just a basic cylinder. If we take a look at this tool right here, I've defined it with number of flutes, number of teeth from an actual tool, uh, uh, thread table, but if we look at the actual tool, it looks like a complete cylinder. If you were to machine this inside our simulation, it actually would just machine almost like it's looking like it's doing a boring or something. It just leaves a nice flat face. It doesn't actually show the thread. So if you actually want to show the thread being machined, um, there's a way to do that using shape tools. And again, another video on this channel shows you how to create shape tools specifically for thread milling. What that's going to do is it's going to generate a tool pass similar to what it would be with, with the regular uh, d dimension of the tool. But when we actually generate it on, in our simulation, you can actually see threads develop. So this just gives us an idea as to if the thread is coming out correctly. So how do we do a shape tool? Well, I'll refer, refer you to that, that shape tool video, but the shape tool specifically for the thread mill is easily done if you have the actual dimensions of your thread. So let's take a look at tool three. This is a uh, an M64 thread mill. And if I take a look at my tool shape, really all, all that was done to develop this tool is just a series of, of cones in our shape tool development. So let's take a look at that actual shape tool. So there's a four millimeter pitch on this tool. If I look at the shape edit, it's simply just a series of cones. So dimensions of the cones and, our, and the arbor value and all that, that is basically from your tool. So from your catalog information, plug that information in here. If you are looking to develop this from scratch, the height of each cone or the actual maximum diameter, the top and bottom diameter of each cone will be uh, from your, your, your Involute profile. The, uh, the height of each cone, again, will come from the Involute profile. So you'll, you will design this tool based off of the actual thread you're looking to, to, um, to develop here. So this is simply just the combination of a thread milling toolpath and the shape tool ability of SolidCam in one, in one video. I'm basically describing that if you use a shape tool, you can see the threads develop on your stock. And you can actually see if, um, if it looks like it's, if it's thread milling in the right direction, if it's actually going to gouge, if the thread looks like it ends where it should end. There's a lot of visual uh, advantage to developing a shape tool to show the cosmetic thread. So it, it's just a simple thing of doing the, the actual thread mill itself. Again, it's a, the thread milling toolpath is always driven by the tool definition. In this case, it'll also be visual aspect of it is also driven by the visual of that thread definition. Any questions of this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at SolidCamSupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.